I would like to move a uh, board comment below uh, action items and above public comment so that we get through the we, we, we get through the um, Robert rules of order um, official pieces of the business before I or anyone else start pontificating. Carl yes could I I just need some time to talk about things I, I might need for the bulletin um absolutely let's uh let's add that uh, i don't need much comment. time but just just basically there's some things i just don't understand well enough to be able to write about and uh could could need some support because obviously this is crunch time we need it in the next two weeks uh maybe well now that we're moving a little later i think we it needs to be the hand of the well we need to talk about it yeah scheduling absolutely uh, let's definitely. uh um do you want to let, let, let's uh, add it as a uh, as a uh, a discussion item um, and for uh, discussion items below action items and we'll add it we'll add it ahead of board comment and public comment. Good, thank you. Uh, Bonnie, Lindy, uh, any uh, uh, adjustments from you guys, Bruce? No, no. I don't have anything. No, um, I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to now flip over to this screen where I believe so I did everyone get um, the replies from uh, Dina to the compendium of questions <laughs> I love there was compendium of questions by the way that's brilliant um, <laughs> yes and and uh, I applaud you for wading through this holy smoke um, what so the big um, where's Dina? Dina stepped through it all. The only piece that seems to be um, of issue, and uh, I'm not sure we have to decide what we want to do about it, is um, the, uh, uh, she makes a comment that um, you cannot, uh, uh, the, the, the Civil Board of Authority would have to have a formal vote. So the, the, the fact that, that um, uh, Lori said, oh yeah, we're, we're, we're cool with having the vote at town offices instead of at the school actually requires them to at least warn a special meeting, get together and say, we're down, we're, we're down with town hall. So um, town offices, I'm just gonna keep saying that over and over again, cause I was the one who slipped up and said town hall. <laughs> um, but I think when I talked to Lori this morning, she told the members that they were going to to plan for a formal meeting. I think she's on this call today to clarify that. Um, but because I still hadn't heard back about whether it needed to be a formal warned meeting or not. So she was going to move forward with that process. Excellent. So yeah, this was uh, Dina just answered this uh, around noon or so today. Mm -hmm. So this, this is a. Uh, uh, I, so I, I, Will Senning, there's not presses involved. Carl and Lindy. Yes. Will from the Secretary of State office did respond to my email this morning that um, the Board of Civil Authority does have to have an official right. meeting, advice, changing, and accepting the polling places. Okay, correct. And Dina, yes. Dina, if they are yeah. using a new polling place, the BCA should vote to designate the new polling place per statute 17 BSA 2501. Okay. Um, I seem to believe, I, I mean, Dina didn't say we couldn't. I do believe that we can, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, 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 to decide we can warn this. Um, even though the, the civil board of authority has not yet acted and cross our fingers and, and trust that they shall indeed act and, uh, and, and give us the, appro the approved polling plate um, by the time we uh, need that polling plate. Does everyone else think that's a reasonable assumption? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think that's all you can do. Yeah, I would think so. Okay. Um, Dina also clarified the the uh, issue around uh, uh, individually counting versus uh, co-mingling um, ballots. Carl, just do you have noise in your background? I'm just, it's, it, you're a little broken up for me. Uh, I, I, I do not. It's, it's, it's okay. really pretty quiet here. Must be the, must, 
must must be the phones then or something. Yeah, okay. Um, there is if you go to the lower uh, lower right, Ethan, the closed captioning on Google Meet is pretty good. And there's a so if you hit that three button or hit where it says turn on captions, that 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 sometimes helps me. Um, uh, to 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 read what gets gets met, missed. Uh, Ray, Carl, I think it, it was actually Jenny taking notes. But I'm not 100% positive, and she has muted since. Okay. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully, I stay clear. So, so okay, that's the that's the first piece that, that we know we have to we have to do, and it seems like the civil board of authority um, in Stockbridge is well in hand with dealing with that, since the votes have taken place at the Rochester Town Hall offices place. Off office, yeah. The, so, since the the votes have taken, oh no. The votes are taking place at the school. They're taking place in the high school building, correct? Yes. Correct. Right. Okay, but not in the auditorium in rooms 208 and 209. Correct. Um, can we do do? Can we just warn the high school building, do you think, and not have to specify room numbers um, and just have signage to direct people? Uh, I don't know if that's a legal question, Carl, but we certainly can have signage to direct people. Um, okay. What are we basing the uh, school uh, as the official polling place on? Because th that is not, it is the town office that is. So we, Rochester probably needs the Board of Civil Authority to approve that change too. Oops. It's just about where your town, your school vote would normally occur, not necessarily our, your polling place. Okay, our, our, my understanding, if somebody read that differently, please okay. chime in. Um, prior to the uh, Districts merging, the school vote was taken by Australian ballot at the town clerk's office. Okay, so Julie would need to, uh, we would need to have Julie uh, get, I mean, how, how many people are on the Rochester Civil Board of Authority? It's, it's the same as yours. It's the select board, the uh, justice of the peace, and the town clerk. Okay, so whatever whatever quorum they would need to, to, to jump together just to say, let's do it at the school. I mean, it Which, seemed to be, from what I understand, the select board and Sandy Haas all walked through the high school building. So it, it seemed to have been a, a fairly consensus and a, a fairly, you know, consensual decision about where to have all of the Rochester elections. The, the, the select the, board actually asked to come in um, because they don't believe that the town offices provides a, a large enough space to safely conduct the vote. But that doesn't mean we don't have to go through the same process as Stockbridge based on the point. Right, making. right, right. I, it, it, it sounds to me that since the select board was the one that was asking about it and they're a good portion of the civil board of authority, I think we can proceed with the same assumption that they will, they will uh, uh, get together and, and, and warn their Zoom meeting and, and uh, uh, give it the thumbs up and we can uh, uh, proceed with, with our warning. Uh, warning yeah, I'll, call them, I'll call them first thing in the morning, Carl, and get that process started in Rochester. And so all they need is the all, any board of civil authority needs to to make an official motion, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Warn a special meeting to uh, consider the uh, polling place for the uh, 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 Rochester uh, Stockbridge Unified District uh, Australian ballot polling place. Um. So Dina confirms that they can get the they can get the uh, uh, ballot done for us. Um, the last piece we really need to talk about involves in, involves Jenny, and I think that. From Dina's latest communication, so we have to we have to choose whether the civil board of authority in each location would would tabulate the votes at that location and then report out the results to the uh, 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 district clerk, the school district clerk, which is different from the board clerk that takes the minutes. It's the the, the district clerk that does the annual minutes and uh, um, you know certifies the voter lists and things like that. The voter list uh, is provided by the Civil Board of Authority, and um, uh, you know that basically, as long as the list, is, it, the the authority, the responsibility seems to be around. Oh, let me finish the, the the vote mingling. So, so either the Civil Boards of Authority count the votes individually and communicate the results to the District Board Clerk, um, or the the Civil Boards of Authority bring all the votes, the ballots, and the votes to a central location where the votes are physically counted uh, by the civil boards of authority under the supervision of the district board clerk. Um, the, the thinking that uh, uh, Jenny is very concerned about being in a room 
with all those ballots and uh, 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 all those people, uh, given given uh, you know the 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 the, the state of of uh, her family and uh, medical issues, which is completely understandable. So we can and we probably should entertain a motion to um, have the civil boards count their own ballots. Yes, yes, Amy. I would like us to really think about this though. Um, we are a district and standing as a district, collecting all the votes together and reporting uh, the combined yays and nays of our district. Um, I, I, I'd like us to really think about those implications. Um, I think that being, being one, it, it, it's a stand of being one getting all the votes together. It's not this many people in Stockbridge voted yay or nay and this many people in Rochester voted yay or nay. It is our district, which is what we are trying to continually promote. Right. Well, we'll have to look at, I believe we have to look at which town there are for at least the the, the, the positions of, you know, the, the, the Stockbridge resident and the, and the, I, I believe only Stockbridge residents vote for the Stockbridge representative and only uh, Rochester residents can vote for the Rochester representative, or is it one from each? No, no, everybody votes. Right. Okay. So I then, agree with it. Can you hear me? Now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I agree with Amy. I think whatever we can do to show that um, this is a merged district would be what we, what any, anything that we can, any little detail that we can do to show we're together, I think we should. Okay. Uh, uh, it, is, it is. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ethan. Uh, I, I mean, I hear those points. I just think this is extraordinary times. And I think um, with Jenny's concerns, um, we are looking to some extent about expediency here. We're trying to get this done. Um, and I think I would, I would just say that I think it's safer and more expedient to do it in the separate places and have the information come. I understand, I really do understand the arguments about bringing things together, but I just think that may have to go by the wayside right now. But that's my two cents. Um, Jenny, Jenny uh, has offered to, if, if the, because one of the questions was in one of Dina's opinion, she said that since we had done a commingled vote, we had to continue to do a commingled vote. And Jenny had offered to uh, step aside if that was the case. Jenny, do you want to speak to just your, your, your whole sense of, of, of how you feel about participating? Um, yeah, I think that I'm okay with doing it, either commingled or mingled. However, if we do um, have to have the, the district clerk there, then I would have to step down and I don't mind either way. Um, um, either commingled or mingled, I see pros and cons to both. Um, we would have to find someone to be the clerk if we um, had to do it one of those ways. And in terms of them commingled, I would, the clerk just needs to confirm the results. Is that correct? If, yeah, I think they're, I think if they're commingled, the clerks, you know, they're, they're, they're all brought to a place and they're all kind of counted in front of everyone versus they're counted in Rochester and Rochester calls you and they're counted in Stockbridge and Stockbridge calls you. But does the clerk physically have to be present at the co-mingling. I thought it was just the Board of Civil Authority counted and then they reported the, the, to the clerk. She the co-mingling, the, co the clerk, they're, they're brought to the clerk and the, cl the clerk supervises the counting, the, the counting in front with, you know, that uses the Civil Board of Authority. I believe the question is, does the Civil Board of Authority do it under their, under their own uh, purview and then report the results or do they get mingled or do they get brought to one location and the the, the district board clerk um, oversees the counting that is you know done you know with members of the uh, of the civil board of authority the civil board of authority isn't dropping them off and waiting outside while the clerk counts them or the board counts them the civil board of authority still has to help participate in the count either way um but oh here's here's my thing is that i i it has a little to do with publicity. I just wonder if anybody's going to really know that the, whether the votes were commingled or not commingled. You know, like it, it's one thing to have classes go on a field trip together in the past or, you know, all be together in the Rochester Auditorium. But the fact is, I don't know that that many people are going to know how this is happening, how this vote counting is happening. 
in that case, you know, let's be expedient about it and safe about it. Hi, this is Megan speaking. I'm going to agree with Ethan. I kind of, if it was, you know, a normal circumstance, I truly believe a commingled count would be the way to do it. But given the COVID and trying to, you know, be conscientious of not mixing so many people together, I, I'm siding with uh, Ethan on this one. I, I, I do think we should not commingle them and have have our BCAs report to Jenny. Okay, because that again, the, the 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 important thing is the difference that is, is the point that Amy was making. In 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 a commingled count, you wouldn't really you you wouldn't really be able to to to, to sugar out where 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 one town went and one town one town didn't, which may or may not you know it it, it may or may not matter. Well, I think I think Jenny would be the only one who would know that. Well, I would think that I would think the civil board of authority would be would be reporting the figures individually, right? But aren't yeah. they? But just aren't they to Jenny, aren't they confidential? I'm not sure if they're confidential or not. I, I that, that 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 would be a question probably for the attorney. So I do wonder, just because I know people have to jump to a meeting at six o'clock, is this a decision that has to be made right in this moment? Or, or yeah. do we just but, need to revise the warning and make sure the warning is accurate and we can figure the commingling? It sounds like there's still some confusion around it. Gotcha. Uh, I think there, I, I, I think there is, and I, I think that um, unless unless Bruce can get uh, to Dina to answer that question in like the next ten minutes, because I don't have Dina's cell number, he might be able to get a hold of her real fast. I can try to get a hold of her, but she was getting on another meeting. So I they probably, I can try. Well, we well, can, Carl, Carl, do we, we can warn the meeting and we can, we can address the, the, the question of tabulating the ballots, much like we're addressing the formalizing of, of the, of, of, of the other piece of it. You know what I mean? I think we can, right. The, I just don't want us to run out of time. If there's warning. something we know. We, we, we really, we really do need to warn this thing today. Correct. Uh, you saw the timeline. Let's, in that, in that, in let that your voice taken. Let's get this. And it right. doesn't sound like we need to have all of that. That needs to be decided before we warn. Mm -hmm. Correct. It is not on. It is not an item that is on the warning. It is an. Right. It is a motion that is made to support the election. So I would believe that. Yep. Yeah, we do not have to. We do not have to nail that down tonight to uh, to, to to move the question forward. Well, and right. I, can, I think it could be an agenda item for our regular meeting on Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, good idea. Do we have a revised warning, Carl? Um. I believe we do. I'm looking at Rob's email. There's so many things that are back and forth. If the votes are committed, and then this just came in um, from Rob, Robert Fletcher at the, at the Dina's office. If the votes are commingled, they will be counted by representatives of the BCA in each town in a single location and results uh, certified. If they are not commingled, they will be counted in each town by the, uh, by the uh, respected BCAs and the certified results sent to the board clerk. The board clerk then report, reports the, 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 the results. So it does sound like if they're kept separate, they would be reported, they, they, they would be reported as, 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 as cer separately certified resorts, uh, results. Because the scene around. Do we, but Carl, do we have um, the current warning? Um, can, that is, that is uh, what I was looking for when I was searching on Rob's name. So I will. Uh, it's not attached to that email that he had sent about uh, uh, voting. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Um, no problem. The, the one I see was sent, uh, it looks like on Thursday. I haven't seen anything since then. Okay. Thursday's the uh, May 19th? 21st. 21st. Okay. I don't... That was prior to our meeting on Thursday. Oh. Um, so what I'm seeing is okay, here's what the one Bob sent you the 21st. That's the 18th. Yeah, I see the 18th.
Um, so we don't have it. I'm. I, I've. Well, I, I'm sure I do. I'm sure we have it somewhere. There's, like I said, the problem. Is, there's. Okay, here's one from the 19th that has the two versions: one with the reserve and one without the reserve. Which is the last question we have to decide as I find the, find the versions of the warning. Um, what is our what is our, our our pleasure in terms of we do have to decide for the warning? Um, well, actually, so this is this is also complicated. Yeah, um, Dina's Dina sent in another email talking about the idea of uh, of the the reserve funds, and in this email, she she seems to indicate uh, that the reserve funds, because they were set up and approved by the electorate, they can they can be funded by vote of the board. Which means that the fact that yeah. the the articles of agreement that never really said that the Stockbridge existing reserve fund was supposed to go to the Stockbridge reserve fund, or that monies from the Dandelion daycare sale were supposed to go to the Dandelion daycare uh, fund, theoretically, according to this last email from her, could just be voted, but not have to be warned, since the since the taxpayers made the funds, and that the board could just vote vote the funds into them. The so, board can do that. The board can vote the funds into it. The town doesn't have to. That's what that letter only the pre designated Carl, the way I read that was only specific to the funds that were already existing. You still need your Correct. voter approval to take surplus money and put it in a reserve fund. So just make sure there's that clarification there. Okay. So she okay. So I think given these given the confusion about the reserve funds. I think we need a warning. I think we need to vote the warning that does not speak to reserve funds at all. And we need to just vote to vote towards getting a budget, getting the people elected, getting the uh, uh, bridge loans, you know, in, in, in that language taken care of. And the point I, is you can do this at some other time. I agree. I think, again, ex expediency and clarity are um, let's not complicate this too much. It's going to be hard enough to just get this basic budget passed. Yes. Um, so the last one I see seems to be at the bottom of, of, uh, of Tara's from 521, Tara revised Robert's 520 to put the numbers in. So Tara, do you see that version that you, you revised in an email that you sent around at 235 on May 21st? That says I have revised the warning to now include the per people spending and the percentage increase. That's the first sentence in that message, Tara. Yes, I have that saved on my computer. Okay, that would be that to me looks like the latest warning that we have. It just needs to have that Article Six about the uh, reserve funds taken out of it. It also needs to say Stockbridge Town Offices and not Stockbridge Central School as the voting. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. okay. Say the location in Rochester as well, not the auditorium, right? Oh, yep, yeah, right. The high school building or rooms 208 or 209. Yeah, okay, I was, so. I was gonna say that. All right, hold on. I'm trying to get Tara's. All right. So it, it is at uh, Rochester, Rochester High School. Auditorium, it says. Right. We don't so work out. And they could say rooms 208 slash 209. Or just Rochester High School. I don't know that we need to specify a room. And Stockbridge Town Office? Yes. Yes. <laughs> And uh, just for my clarity, are we completely putting to bed the reserve funds issue, or are we just tabling it for now? We're tabling it for now because we need to. We need to. We need to sort. We need to sort that all out. We. Just, I agree. I just want clarity on that. That, that, that we're not. So you would take out Article Six? Did you say? Take out Article Six completely. And can you? Please, just for me, put a comma after Rochester High School. <laughs> Aren't you? Would, my wife would kill me if you didn't. <laughs> so to elect the clerk, 
to the left of the treasurer, to the left the following persons, to the Rochester Sackford Unified School District, to all the voters, the budget, authorize the board to borrow issuance of is that our um that's our tan? Is that basically yeah, that's the tan. Yeah, that's the tan. Uh -huh. That voter absentee. Which I'm still trying to figure out how we're gonna do without an approved budget. <laughs> I've got legal counsel in the state of Vermont all working on giving me some guidance on how to move forward with it. So can we talk about the time from seven AM to seven PM? when Lori and I, you have to go until 7 p.m. And Lori I thought it was 10 o'clock till 7. Yeah, Most we of the kind of, others are doing 10 o'clock in the morning till right. 7. Lori and it I came from the about, attorney, not from us. So if, 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 uh, we can, if you think we can change it, that's what I, the other districts are doing. Yeah, just to eliminate and try and encourage some absentee. <clears throat> can we also um, go over to the second page and under Janie Feinberg where it says clerk, can we put director? Oh yeah, good catch. Who's your board clerk? Jenny Austin. Jenny Austin. Who can, Overall, who can, right? who can, who can, who can uh, put the R on director? She can sign and accept this warning, and then uh, should the ballot uh, be decided to be done in a different way that she's uncomfortable with, she can she can uh, resign then. Can you go? No, this is not for the. This is. Isn't this the clerk of of We're our board, our district clerk? Or that's the school district clerk. clerk. The oh, school district clerk is the person that, like, it used to be. It used to be so, our. Uh, it used to be uh, Joanne, and it used to be Kathy Brown. I understand what you're saying. Um, can you go back up to Janie Feinberg and put the R on the director? Yeah. Good. So if we had to change the school district clerk, is that okay that that person's name isn't on this document? Um, yes. And you would take out where it says Jenny Oz. Well, she is the clerk of the, I mean, it, 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 we don't, we don't say, we don't show who our vice chair is in terms of our directors. Do we really want to show that Jenny Austin is the, is, is, is the clerk or just make her a director? I mean, I guess we can leave her as clerk. She's clerk both places. I mean, it really should be, it should also show your vice chair. I mean, those you're elected as a board into that position. So that's Amy. That's right. Amy. I always like that vice. <laughs> Miami vice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we have uh, da, 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 10 o'clock a.m. when the polls will open, ending at 7 p.m. when the polls will close to vote an Australian ballot. To elect to town clerk. So this doesn't say the date people are voting. Does that need to be in that first paragraph? Yes. Yeah, so. <clears throat> yeah, it was, would be June thirtieth. Right. Where I'm not sure. Are hereby notified and warned at ten o'clock and ending. Like uh, I'm not sure yeah. where in the sentence it's got to say June thirtieth. Would, but... would be right after. I thought yeah. it was. Uh, there you uh, go. I thought it was right up the top, but that's fine. Okay. Yeah, what is Just the top green? We should have that on there. <laughs> Thank you. That is very <laughs> big deal. <laughs> yes. Okay. All righty. Okay. So let's run our eyes over that one more time. Or three more times <laughs> could folks just clarify for me it could be just my not understanding this how do they know who they're voting for for um the two terms it's just it the, ballot. the ballot has to be posted 20 days before the okay, vote. thank you yeah if you look at that if you look at that compendium of questions the 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 timeline of when we have to open the window for nominations and then when we have to get all the those uh, forms of assent or consent forms or whatever they're called um, to the attorney to make the ballot so the ballot is ready and available the 20 days before. Yeah, that so was very helpful. I think I spelled that out. I think I spelled that out in the. Yes, you did. Thank you, Carl. That was very helpful. We have, we, we, we're the, we have the, the, the attorney has confirmed that we get them that information end of the day 
whatever the day that those forms are closed, uh, they will have it ready for us in time. And uh, Julie had said that she's comfortable doing running it off, and I'm assuming Lori will run it off as well. And Thanks. Some generated at the locations. Thank you. Um, okay. All righty. I want to approve the uh, warning uh, as shown. Does anyone, as I, I, it looks okay to me, but then I missed the fact there wasn't a date on it. So um, does everyone, uh, does, did, did, I mean, if, if we're comfortable, I would entertain it. Takes, it to, to, takes, to, to, takes, to, takes two more minutes. Let's just read it again from okay. top to bottom all the way through. Do we need to put the parentheses about when the polls will open and when the polls will close, or were those notes to us from the lawyer to make sure we had that information in there? I think it's important. I think it clarifies. It really shows that this is an open, an open and a close. It's not that all this is an all-day meeting. Gotcha. That's how I would re I read it. Yeah. Totally fine. Just throwing it out there. It's good to hear others' perspective. Um. I just think we should maybe have an at before the Stockbridge Town Office. So it's at Rochester High School and at Stockbridge Town Office. Just and we can get rid of the page in there too. As I stick right in. in article number four, do we have any cents in our total budget amount or is it an even dollar amount? Good. I don't know. I believe it's an even dollar amount. That's what I remember from the budget. Tara? Okay. Sorry, what was the question? In the budget number, the 4,391,125, is there any sense with that or is it an even dollar amount? Usually the AOE rounds it up to an okay. even dollar amount, but let me, I, there could be sense in it. It's 40 cents in the budget. Carl, this is just a formatting question in Article 3. Okay. Do we want to have the dates, like from 2020 to 2023, like we do up in Article 1 and 2? Um, sure, that, 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 that would certainly be consistent. It would also clarify how long the term is for if anyone's looking back. Good. What did you say, Bonnie? In Article 3, would we want to have the dates like we do in Article 1 and Article 2? Yes, I agree. From July 1, 2020 to June 30, 2023, right? Well, if we, were to, if we were to be consistent, it would say for the term of July 1, 2020? To, Ju to June 30, 2023. I think it does help if you're looking back because often there's a question, well, you know, how long does that term go for and who was right. it? And... Um, and periods after both the 2023s. And we said it was, and uh, Ethan said it was 40 cents for the, the, the 391, 125.40 for the yes. total miniature amount. 125 and 40 cents. So this is just another uh, format question. Article four, shall the voters approve the amount if approved? So I don't, so that's a question, but I don't see a question mark anywhere. And then in article five. 
the, the question mark should be at the ensuing fiscal year. Right. The rest of that language is is is, is statutory. Okay. So then we'd put it at the right after fiscal year. Yep. And then Article 5 is just a straight question. Yep. So just looking at the time, it's uh, 5.38. Um, what is the plan for the next meeting? Because um, I'm feeling... Let's, like let's, 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 let's approve this. Are we all... Has I just read through it again, um, except I really can't read the very bottomy, but I don't think that has changed. Um, that looks like statutory jargon. Uh, does anyone, does anyone else uh, want to uh, run another eye over it? I would entertain a motion to approve the uh, uh, warning as uh, presented uh, by Tara. So moved. Do I hear seconded. a second? Seconded. A motion has been made and seconded to approve the, uh, uh, the warrant version. Dina's yes. Dina calling. I have her on speakerphone. Dina, you're on speaker. I'm hoping the board can hear you. Okay, what's the question? Can you hear her, Carl? Yes. Hi, Dina. We're still, we're still, um, so we're trying to understand the bit around um, consolidating or commingling the votes versus counting them separately. And yeah. the, 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 the issue that we're, we're, we're coming up against is the idea that on the one hand, if we commingle them, it seems like there will not be a, a certified vote by town or by by polling place, whereas if we voted them, if we counted them at each polling place, then the results would be certified by the polling place. So you would know you would you would have uh, information as to what stock Indians voted and what Rochesterians voted. Yes, I agree. That is that is a major difference. Yes. Does does the board the the school district clerk have to be present for the counting of the co-mingled votes? For the co-mingled, yes. But does not need to be present for, for, not, for separate? Correct, if you do it separately, which is, so, so when I said I thought that doing it separately was a good idea, it was based solely upon what Jenny had articulated as her concerns. Yes. and not taking anything else into account so if you do not if you do it separately by town she doesn't need to be there um the bca rep and the town clerks they do it they count the votes um they break down what the votes are for whichever candidate yes or no on the budget and they report the results to jenny if you commingle it the bca representatives have to bring the ballots to a centralized location where they are then taken out and tabulated, you know, yes or no. I voted for Carl. I voted for Jenny. And she supervises that. She doesn't have to touch the ballots, um, but she has to generally under the statute supervise that. So she would have to be somewhere in the room one would say, when they do it. And, and to, do, to, uh, to, to complete this warning process, because we've gone through and we've, we've dealt with the warning and uh, we're about ready to, to, to vote on it, um, we do not need to have this decision made about commingling or, or, uh, or uh, separate counts decided at this time. You should be doing it at this time. Okay, because it's not, it's take, not, it's not any of the language that's in the warning. It's not part it's not part of the let me think about that, Carl. If you have to do it at this point in time. Right. No, we just want to if, if, if we could if we brought them all together, do I think you could do it at another we should be. Um, we would have to figure out if, if 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 Jenny was going to step down, we'd have to think about who we were appointing and make sure that person, whoever they were um was right. okay with it so that's where we're saying just like we have not we got your message today that we have to uh we have to notify the um uh, the stockbridge town clerk to, to hold a, a cba to move the vote from the school to the uh, 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 uh to the town offices 
and yes. they're, comfortable, they're comfortable doing that. They've said they'll they'll bless it. We're assuming that we can just warn the warn the budget, warn this warning now, trusting that they're going to follow through and do what they said and actually have that formal meeting, you know, have their one yes. their one mission be done. Yeah. Um, hey, Carl, I'm this trying, is Lori I, Scott. I'm trying to process, Carl, on the issue of do you have to decide to mingle right now or not? Um, I don't think that there's a requirement, although I know I have in the past put on the the warning how ballots will be commingled. I not. I think it is more more notice than you necessarily have to give. Okay. About it. Okay. Um, Lori. Lori, you had a comment? Yep. Uh, don't worry. I'm going to, I'll send out the, I'll let the, the BCA know tomorrow that I'm going to warn a meeting and they'll need to participate in that just to approve this for the 630 vote at the town hall and um, from 10 to 7. Yep. So, you know, it's, I've actually said I'll do it. So you don't even have to trust me. I, I told you I'll do it. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> You did just use the words town hall, but you want to say town office. Right? Town office. Okay, yes, I know that. Verify. Right, and we're gonna have and we're gonna have Bonnie reach out to Julie to do to do the same thing to to make sure that the time is set and the place is 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 set in those rooms the the, the rooms that the select board has chosen. So thank you for all your help with this, Lori. You've really you've really stepped up. And Dina, I think you you yeah. answered our, our our questions that we that we needed to have uh, about how to go go forward. So I think, uh, I, I think we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, have the vote. Okay, thank you, Dina. Thank you, Dina. All righty. Great. Bye, hon. Bye. Okay. Um, so a motion has been made and seconded uh, to approve the uh, warning as uh, currently being presented by our business manager. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, uh, we're going to go in ballot order by the list. So let me open up this thing and we'll go through. Uh, Carl Grappi votes uh, aye. Uh, Ethan Bowen. Aye. Jenny Austin. Aye. Uh, aye. Amy. Aye. And uh, uh, Janie, I don't know which phone number you are, but if you could vote. It's star six to unmute, Janie. Uh, yes, I, I'm sorry. I thought I unmuted myself. <laughs> no, that's that's fine. Uh, uh, the eyes carry it. The warning has passed unanimously. Um, okay, we've got just a few minutes. So, Ethan, um, you're, you're up to talk about the... Um, the you know uh, a thing. Let me let me do this by email. I've got to get some um, dinner going for uh, Wilder before I uh, get Megan to that vote. meeting. I just so, want to say Megan votes aye. Yeah, Megan votes ah, aye. I'm sorry, yeah. Megan. No worries, no worries. Yeah. I'm working on getting um online physically. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah. Hey. Let me let me communicate by email. Uh, there's just there's there's a lot there is a lot to do. Uh, Jenny's got a great template, but there's still a lot of explain explaining. That we need to I do can... the people. Um, one one thing I'd like to put out there, I would like to put out the um, breakdown that Tara sent out of building costs. That's been a big question. A lot of people. I think it should be in our report. The 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 building cost. You mean the the uh, analysis that we've been trying to get for for the. Tara sent out some basic numbers of electricity, fuel costs between the three buildings. Great. Um, let's let's people... look at it, and, and we can on a. Uh, 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 our on our meeting on Tuesday, we can really be trying to right. We can finalize all the pieces and parts. Is that true? I will, Ethan? I will. I will. That's my goal. Is by Tuesday to have a rough draft of everything for you. I think that would can be I wonderful. Ask, can I, I ask a question, Carl? Yes. Can yeah. I ask a question? Sure. Please? How would you all like to sign this warning now that you've approved it? <laughs> um. We can uh, sign it at. We need to sign it at a, at, at a place. Last time um, we went to the two town offices and we met there and and signed it. If that's if they could bring it to us out the door. Well, I can email it to somebody. But I was going to say, can we pass it, it around? And I don't know if any, if everyone has the ability to sign it and scan it and pass it to the next person. 
Yeah, or I can. I mean, I can come by and 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 sign. Um, you know, if there's if it, if it was at a place. I mean, I don't well, know. What I have was. the ability to scan in and and send it back. Is that are we? Is that something where you can do though, or does it have to be original signatures? It probably probably would want to be an original signature. Okay, then I I would recommend that if Jenny has the ability to print it, maybe she could print it and sign it, and then then she gets a fresh, clean, untainted copy, and then Ooh, good thinking. somebody could she can leave it someplace where where Jenny she can't goes. sign it until you all have signed it as board members first. She can sign it as she can sign it as um, her um, board position, right? But not as the school district clerk until you have the majority of you have signed it. Okay, <laughs> there goes that plan, Lindy. At some point, I have to bring um, the cards that Emma's making for the sixth graders to the school. I could do it. Yeah, I can say if you email it to me, Tara, I can work with Janet. And we can, she's there, um, and we can just set up times for people to step by school and sign it. And Jenny, she can bring it out on a clipboard to you or something that way. Yeah, that works. I have to bring those cards in at some point okay. anyways. Does that work okay. for others? Um, is that, can you know, for like Rochester? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, one person at a time. Sorry, I heard a bunch of people. Yep. <laughs> I we can maybe, then move it to Rochester, but then it still so has to get back to Stockbridge again. Right, so let's start it in Rochester and bring it to Stockbridge so that Jenny can sign it at the end. Oh, I see. So doesn't that make a little more sense? It does. And Bonnie, can you, who, so I can, who's going to start it in Rochester, I'll I guess. It. I'll print it out and I will, I will bring it to, to Ethan and to Megan and then to... And then just get connect it. with me, Amy, and we can figure something out. Sounds good. So I'll start it and I will, I will con uh, get Rochester's side signed, and then we'll connect, and you can figure out Stockbridge. <laughs> Perfect. Amy, if it's easier, you can bring it to the school. Erica's there Thursday afternoons. Okay. Great. And people could just go down there and sign it. Just let them, yeah. just let them, just connect with her if you want to do that. Super. I definitely will. Thank you. It's got to be. So it has to be posted though, 30 days out, right? Yep. Okay, so then we just need to make sure it gets signed by Friday morning so Lori can post it in Stockbridge because she only Wonderful. works till noon. Okay, I will, I'll be able to get right on this and get it right, right done. Okay. Um, right. I have to you, so I leave it to you to get to the next person. Okay, there. Please do email it to me, thank you. Um, if, if we if we do get tight on things, note that it does not need to, to it has to be posted. It has to be signed by a majority of, of the board. It, 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 if, if there's someone who we can't we, we can't make work, we can we can skip having a, a, a one of the signature lines. We have a signature line blank. We've done that before um, because we've had to get it published. So if we have to, we can. But let's let's focus on uh, trying to get everyone on it. Okay, and Ethan's going to be reaching out um, electronically to discuss the book, and we are going to be meeting. Our next uh, meeting is our regular meeting on uh, Tuesday, June 2nd. It will once again be held in uh, cyberspace at a point uh, in the space-time continuum exactly halfway between our two schools. <laughs> I love it. Um, Carl, can I ask one more question? Sure. Do you want Encore to give their presentation in your June 2nd meeting? Uh, yes, we'll put them, we'll, we'll put them on just to, uh, I mean, yeah, it's about 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. I will let her know. Thank you. Um, before we move into board comment and public comment, I just am questioning if we start to go beyond six, I do want to make sure that our board has representation on the STU meetings. So who is going to, I, I, I believe, um, I'm okay with with foregoing what I was going to uh, 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 to mention. Um, I think uh, we have, and I, I will also be making a hard stop at at uh, five uh, five fifty nine. But that said, um, if there is someone on the board that wants to comment, please be mindful of of the time and just take a minute or two, or public rather.
Hey, Carl, this is Keith. Hi, Keith. How you doing? Okay, how are you? Good. A couple of things. I have some questions. Maybe you can clarify for me. Okay. Okay. So the, the current budget as proposed by the board definitely falls below the uh, threshold spending amount per student, correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, second, um, I was listening to Dina, and it was interesting. Um, she thought it best that the vote does show by town. So this way we can see how the Stockbridge people vote versus how the Rochester people vote. Did I misunderstood stand her or is that correct? Um, she said that she said that I, I don't believe she offered a, uh, a, a an opinion one way or one way or the other. She no, clarified she said that was a good idea to have it separated due to the logistics with um, the residing clerk and health concerns with the current state of the COVID virus was the the, the sole reasoning. Okay, but, but yeah. how does how, how does the board then have a sense for for how the Stockbridge voters feel versus how the Rochester voters feel? Since Rochester has a larger voting block. Um, the I mean the, the it would be it, it that would be that would be one of the reasons to have to 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 have a a, a separate count would be to well, have it tallied that way. Wouldn't that make the most sense for the board so you have a feel of how each town feels? Um, I could personally see it, 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 it being helpful. I could also see it, see it being hurtful. Um, I know that one of the other points that, that someone had made was, you know, it, uh, having a commingled vote reinforced the idea that we're, we're, we're one, we're one uh, unified district as opposed to uh, two separate towns. Yes, but certainly I can in see. My opinion, in my opinion, that too. In my opinion, one district or one town benefits more than the other. So by doing the commingled vote, the board never really sees how each of the two towns actually feel. And I thought, in terms of transparency, that's what the board would want to see, so they can properly analyze what's best for both towns. Well, I certainly see your point. I'm just and 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 like I said, I can see it. I, I can see value in, in 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 both ways. The other point that was that that, that was made that I want to reinforce to you, uh, uh, a real quick, Keith, is, you know, remember Ethan was saying and uh, uh, Megan was saying as well, the idea of expedience and if we did try to commingle the votes, we would probably need to replace uh, Jenny as the district uh, as, as the district board clerk. Which means we'd have to have another special meeting to appoint someone, train that person in, in, in how to do things. So it's certainly, and then find the third location to do this neutral counting. So certainly, there, you know, the, the the point was also made very clearly that that uh, you know there's there's an expedience advantage to doing separate counts where where you get the report from the Rochester polling place and the report from the Stockbridge polling place. Um, okay, so I, I think that's a question that we've expediency we've, is more important than accuracy. Excuse me? I said, if I understand you correctly, expediency is more important than accuracy. No, you misunderstand me completely. The, the, expedient, okay. the, expedient, answer, the expedient answer would also be the more accurate answer, because the expedient and answer would be Rochester would count and Stockbridge would count, and they would submit things to Jenny. We wouldn't have to replace the, the, the district board, board clerk. We wouldn't have to find a third place to, quote, to, 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 to count the votes. So it would be far more expedient to just have the votes counted in each town and submitted, which, as you pointed out, would give the accurate layer of information about what the Stockbridge voters said and what the uh, um, um, Rochester voters said. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, so look, if I understand what you're saying. So in other words, you would be able then to see and you would separate out for all of the constituents how the Stockbridge people voted and how the Rochester people, uh, people voted, correct? If the if the if the board chose to authorize a separate count, um, yes, that would be that 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 that's how the votes would be certified and reported. If okay, the board, so will the board will the board recommend that because I think it's very important in this situation. Um, I think uh, what are the other questions? We're going to decide that on Tuesday. 
um, at other, a meeting then. Carl, one of the other questions we had is we do need to just verify that that these results are indeed um, public for public consumption and that they are not uh, confidential in any manner. So I just want to make sure we have that answered before we uh, are committing right. to. I think, Dina, I, think Dina said that, I think Dina said that they were that they that that if they were certified in each town, that was the sort of the certified number, and that was what, what was reported. But yes, I will get get further clarity on that. And at this point in time, at 559, I unfortunately have to go represent our uh, our uh, district at uh, the uh, um, SU meeting. So I want to remind everybody that we will be uh, having a full regular um, RSUD, uh, our regular uh, first Tuesday of every month uh, meeting on uh, Tuesday, June 2nd uh, at 630. The uh, agenda and the contact information will be, as usual, available on the bulletin boards in the town halls, as well as, again, uh, at the wrvsu.org, the SU uh, website. There's a calendar with the agenda and, and uh, supporting materials, wrvsu.org. Uh, I would entertain a motion to adjourn so we can go to our SU meeting. So moved. Do I have a second? Megan, second. Thank you, everybody. Motion has been made and seconded, seconded to uh, adjourn so we can get to the SU meeting. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you.